All right, guys, let's grab our Red Bulls and hit the road because we are going to the Polish and Beauty Expo of 2022 located in Tinley Park. So we ended up driving to Tinley Park because we live in Michigan and a drive to Chicago is pretty normal for our state. It's like really close to us. Um, and Tinley Park is like 30 minutes outside of Chicago, so it was even closer. It took us maybe four hours and the drive was dull because if you are from the Midwest, you know that all you have to look at is uh, trees and corn and that's about it. But we made the drive, it was pretty easy. And then of course, when we were like 30 minutes away, we got stuck behind a train and that was fun. Uh, we waited like five to 10 minutes behind the train. That's pretty normal around here. Um, and then we got to our, our hotel around like 3 or 3.30 maybe. And we just stayed at the hotel that was connected right to the convention center. Super convenient. There was a huge family reunion going on at the same time with like 300 people. And all the rooms seemed to have uh, workout equipment in them, which was really weird. I've never, ever seen this. And they had a really nice bathroom set up. Like the shower had one of those huge rain shower heads. And then they had just a wonderful, lovely message of refresh, rejuvenate, recharge directly above the toilet. There wasn't really a lot to do in Tinley Park. You really had to go to Chicago for anything too interesting. But we did go to this ice cream place called The Plush Horse. And it was really cute. They made all their ice creams in-house. They also had all these like little decorated cookies and they had so many different flavors of ice cream. It was kind of insane. Uh, I ended up getting the s'mores flavor and my boyfriend got like pistachio and chocolate, I believe. And these are smalls, by the way. This is a small ice cream that they sell there and it costs like $18 for two of us to get smalls. What the heck? The next morning we did stop at Stax, which was a breakfast place across the street. And they had a pretty sizable menu. I thought I was gonna get these really delicious looking s'mores pancakes, but at the last minute I changed my mind and I grabbed these lemon blueberry ones instead, which were just as good. And then we just kind of killed some time before the meet and greet, which started at five o'clock. And we went there at like 4.30 to check in. We grabbed our badges and then when they finally let us in, it was like a huge buffet. They had a space where you could take pictures with people, kind of like, like a little photo op thing. A lot of the brands had their own tables that they could display stuff on. Um, I missed this whole middle table. I was so excited, but they had an open bar and that was nice, let me tell you, because you're meeting a lot of people you don't know yet. And they had they had Italian food was the spread for the night. And the first thing I did was kind of wander around and check out some of the tables. Not everybody had stuff on their tables. Um, the bygone apothecary table was really cute. They had a little bathtub on there that was filled with samples. The uh, swamp gloss table had a really colorful display. And never mind apothecary. There was, like I said, some that just didn't have anything, but this was such a great way to kind of help plan the wish list out for the next day because I had a wish list going, but this had me adding some polishes on here, like this sassy sauce, this bright orange one. That wasn't on my list until just that moment. And some brands even put out their swatch wheels, which made it so easy to see everything. I really appreciated a lot of the thought that people put into their displays. It was great. But then I was hungry and it was time to eat. So I got myself a heaping plate because I didn't want to have to get up more than once. I wanted to talk to everybody. They had some desserts. And of course I had to get a drink from the bar. And after that, we went across the street and got boba because Bookish Boricua and her friend discovered this fun little boba place called Jojo's that had every boba drink you could ever imagine. And they had this cute little like boy mascot on their cup and like the heart stopper for the drink. It was great. Also, every attendee at the meet and greet got this cup that had some goodies in it, which I will show you later. The next day was the actual expo and all the VIPs got these really cool VIP bags that were stuffed like completely to the brim, just filled with nail polish and, you know, nail goodies. And like I got some like skin lotions and things like that. 
And I'm just dumping it out so you guys can kind of see, like, it was, it was like a kid on Halloween when you dump out all your candy after you got your big haul. It was so much fun. And I'm going to show you guys everything that came in these boxes later on in the video. We got to go in at noon because we had the VIP tickets and it was definitely worth it to get the VIP tickets, I feel, because once all of the general admission people came in, it did get really crowded and really warm and it was nice to have this kind of calmer shopping environment first for that first hour and hit up the booths that I really wanted to prioritize before anything else because some of those lines did end up getting pretty long. Lucky for us, my boyfriend took some of this footage of the area because I was so busy shopping that I forgot to like actually vlog anything. So he took a lot of footage of the booths early on for me and so everybody say thank you to him. It was just so cool to meet everybody. I wanna say thank you to everybody who came up and said hi to me. You know, like I'm not gonna be able to name everybody but uh, motorcycles and Manny's. I got to see Janixa there, which was cool. Hey, Mercedes. I saw Lacquer Diary 3.14 Pie over on Instagram. She was too cute. I died. Um, Grace from my comments. I really appreciate you coming up to me and saying hi. I had such a great time chatting with you. And thank you for the sticker for my Helmer. Um, there was just so many people. I was almost overwhelmed. Um, and I also got to meet Jess Face 90, which like that was my moment. I thought I was gonna throw up. Like she was perfect. Um, I also saw these girls walking around and I was laughing so hard. They had attached to their lanyards um, swatch rings filled with swatch sticks. And that's how they were shopping. They were comparing it to like the polishes there so they didn't get any doubles. And I was like, man, that's a great idea. Why didn't I do that? And then I was like, oh yeah, cause you have 1500 nail polishes, you dork. But yeah, that was hilarious. And I, I just had a blast. I had so much fun. Even my boyfriend had a really good time and it was really cool to see just such a big variety of people, like different ages, races, genders, just everything, all there for the same thing, all enjoying the hobby together. There was really no competitive edge. Nobody was mean. Everybody was so kind and complimenting each other. And I just, I loved it. It was such a good environment to be in. As far as the lines go, like it was crazy how intense the lines at Polish Pickup and Great Lakes Lacquer were. I feel like they never died down. Everybody else seemed to kind of ebb and flow, but those two, always seem to have at least like a 20 to 30 minute wait time. And I mean, good for them, but it was just like crazy. And then Rogue Lacquer seemed to have a pretty steady line. Sassy Sauce had a steady line. KB Shimmer had a pretty steady line, but they had two lines going. So it took me like five minutes to get through that one. And it was just so cool to meet all the makers and chat with them and just see their displays that they put together. There were some really cool displays that people put out and they obviously put a lot of thought and a lot of effort into this stuff. And I really appreciate that because it really made the shopping experience like that much more fun. But yeah, if you're thinking about going to one of these events in the future, I say do it, save up some money. You know, it's gonna cost a little bit. You're gonna, you're gonna burn a hole in your wallet, but it is worth it just to meet everybody and get some really cool polishes that otherwise you wouldn't have been able to grab. But yeah, let's jump into the haul. It's gonna be a long one, so prepare yourself. Okay guys, so of course I'm gonna show you everything individually and uh, swatch sticks of all these polishes. But I just wanted to show you like the full overview, kind of see like the magnitude <laughs> of the damage I have done to my wallet. Um, I have basically three mini hauls within this haul. So everything right here is from the meet and greet. And then this is from the two uh, swag bags I got, as well as all of this and then everything from these name tags over is actual con or expo stuff that i picked up these are my purchases that i paid my little dollars for um and there's actually somebody gave me a gift in there as well and i will show you that uh and then these are the like bags i got look at this kb shimmer bag it's insane the hollow but i'll show you close-ups of Literally everything, I have been so excited to show you guys this. 
Okay, so the first event was on Saturday, and you could start checking in at 4.30 for the meet and greet. And when you checked in, you got like a lanyard here, and every event had a different colored lanyard, I believe. And so the meet and greet got these rainbow ones, and then your name tag was just in here. Then as you were leaving, they gave you this little cup, and it was, it was wrapped up nice, and it had like tissue paper and stuff in it, and there was stuff in here. Um, so I ended up with two of these because me and my boyfriend each got one and like you can see the cup I have a secret black background. Look at that. The cup has this kind of like smoky design. I'm yeah, I'm, well, let's go with smoky um, But it looks weird if you don't realize that it's intentional and then inside that cup There were a couple things. So there were these pens um and they are kind of like a duochrome here, so like a blue to purple duochrome. And then the last thing in the cup was a nail polish, and that was from KB Shimmer. And of course, I got two because, you know, my boyfriend got a cup, and he was like, well, I guess you can have mine. And this is called We Meet Again. It kind of reminds me of the Holo Taco collection. Oh, which one was it? The light multi-chromes. Looks like it's a little bit sheer. Uh, all my swatch sticks in this video and every time they are always two coats. So you can see what it would look like with two coats. I think it's really pretty and I am a sucker for this kind of a color. I do have a few duplicates of some stuff. I'm not sure what I'm doing with all of them yet. Um, you know, I'm keeping one, obviously. I'm giving a couple to some friends and I'm gonna see if my sister wants some and then I will see what to do with the remainder. But those are all the things that everybody at the meet and greet got. And so then the next day was the actual convention itself. And as a VIP attendee, you could start checking in at I believe it was 10 and then the doors were going to open at noon and so me and my friends wanted to kind of scope out our swag bags before we went in so we did end up going and checking in pretty much right when you could start and you got a lanyard and I believe that this one is exclusive for the VIP attendees so the purple gradient lanyard and my boyfriend was my plus one so he got one as well and then we both got a swag bag and it came absolutely loaded. So first let me show you uh, the stuff and the bag and then I'll show you the polishes. I gotta zoom way out just for the bag itself, but this is the bag itself and it is again like that purpley blue gradient. This is the VIP bag. I think that the, the general admissions bag was a little bit different. And inside it has this little mesh zipper piece. And this is really durable and this rope is pretty thick. And then in the bag, it came with one of these little booklets that just kind of told you about the expo. And now let's talk about some of the stuff we got in the bags and then I'll get into the actual polish. So we got some, this is a soothing body balm from the Soapy Chef. I didn't see them there, but I don't, I've heard this brand name thrown around, but I don't know like if they were supposed to be there or what. Um, and this one says that you just rub on your body as needed for relief from mild cuts or bruises. It smells really light. It says it has lavender and eucalyptus essential oils, probably for the scent. And it smells really good. In that same vein, uh, Bygone Apothecary had a little like mesh bag. Uh, this came in like a little drawstring bag and it has a luxury hand cream in their Jane Addams scent. And this one says it's a, oh, it's a Polish and Beauty Expo exclusive fragrance and it's two ounces. I can't smell through the thing. It seems like it's pretty airtight, but I smelled a lot of their stuff at their booth and it smelled amazing. Um, and I will show you my haul from them later. And then they also have the cuticle oil, 0.3 ounces. It looks like it's a roller ball, which I love. Uh, and this is also in the Jane Addams scent. Um, I also got this eyeshadow from Copacetic Cosmetics. They were at the show and I saw, I'm pretty sure it was the maker walking around and she was wearing the makeup and it looked so stunning. This one is called Walking on Air. We got a cuticle oil from What's Up Nails. They were there and this is like a brush cuticle oil but it's in this like 
beefy tin type thing. It's called the Mythical Cuticle Oil. I'm not sure what's mythical about it. I haven't twisted it up yet. I don't love these brush styles just because they're harder to refill. And I find that when I refill them, I make a huge mess. But I really do like this um, like applicator. It's kind of cool. And then from the Twisted Rose Jewelry Co., I got a little pair of earrings. I don't know if you guys can tell, but these are holographic little nail polish bottles and they are adorable. And then the other one off that I got from the bags was this Leisha's Lacquer set. So we have a scented top coat. It says it's scented like white tea and ginger. Let me smell it. I can't smell it through the top coat. It's, you can smell a slight bit, but you gotta let that stuff dry, Hillary. Um, we have a ridge filling base coat, which is great because I don't think I have any of those currently. So that was a good addition. And then a little cuticle oil. And then Ribbit Stickets, this is where we're gonna get into the duplicates. So Ribbit Stickets, I think everybody may have gotten these. Um, there's, you know, two in each bag and I'm just flipping the one over so you can see on the one side, it's kind of like a beachy vacation. And on the other side is a little bit more like mythical forest type stuff. So here's the like beachy ones. I love the little watermelons. And these are just um, water slide decals. They are very easy to use. Uh, if you have a little cup of water, like the learning curve is almost non-existent. So I think that like I really enjoy these. Um, I'm not sure how much of these I will use just because I'm not a big like letter person, but I do like a lot of the little designs and they had a ton of stuff at their booth. And then from the Polish and Beauty Expo branded stuff, they gave a stamper with a scraper card, which is nice because I could always use more stampers. And they're like the clear ones that you can see through, which I feel like that's the best kind of stamper. And these cards are pretty big and beefy, which is nice. And so I got one in each bag. So I think everyone must have gotten one of these. Then Polish Pickup was there and they had this little like branded bag. You can see their logo is on there. And in the bag, cause we got two of course, in those little bags, there was the Gior Couture Smoothing Base called Smooth Me, which is nice because like I just got done saying, I don't have enough of that. And then they had, each bag had a little charm in it. And I didn't realize until way later when I was shopping Polish Pickup that I think a charm is offered every single month. I didn't know about that, um, but now I'm like sad that I missed out on like all those other charms because I love little junk that I don't need. So there's this like kind of like rainbowy heart and then that was the one that was in my boyfriend's bag. And then uh, in my bag, there was this precious little bird. And then the last thing before we get into the actual polish, there was a, like a sandwich bag that had a set of things from, I believe, just more polish and beauty expo stuff. So we got a couple more of these pens. This is one of those more like alien colored gradients this time it's like got that duochrome between purple and like a blackish gray and they're pretty much the exact same as the pens that we got at the meet and greet there were um a cleanup brush and i got two and let me show you i have one that looks kind of similar to this but this one's double sided and so you've got like kind of a more rounded one and more of an angled one i've never used one of this like round shape so I will check it out. Got ourselves a couple of glass nail files. Always handy to have and stick these, you know, at every aspect of my life. I like to keep them kind of all over the place because you never know when you're gonna need one. You never know when you're gonna have a nail emergency. Polish and Beauty Expo sticker and it is so holographic. Can't wait to make some more sticker magnets. And the final thing in that bag, these were so precious. I also love pins, uh, just in case you were wondering. Pins, stickers, charms, anything baby tiny. And these are little nail polish bottles that say Polish and Beauty Expo. I don't know if there were other colors. I think I only saw the blue, but these are too cute. So now I'm gonna zoom you guys way, way in, and I'm gonna show you some close-ups of all the polishes that came in those two swag bags. I only have these swatched on Swatch 6 because literally the Expo was 
like two days ago. I have not had a chance to swatch like I don't know how many polishes are sitting in front of me right now, but I have not had a chance to do that. But I did get them all on swatch sticks and I did put them in my spreadsheet. So let's take a look. So the first few are going to be ones that were in uh, both bags. I didn't get like a vibe that there was a ton of duplicates, but like, it, I don't know if everybody got some of these. If you went to the, the expo and you got these, let me know. So I got two of the Aurora 5 Free, and this is called Deep Dish. And you can see it's like a red, like tiny glitter with big flakies of like white, green, and red, and some black. And I think that definitely nailed the inspiration behind the name. Both bags also had this DRK Nails. This one's called My Oh My, and it's this, would you call that fuchsia, like that pinky purple? and it is like a shimmer. It's pretty sheer looking in my opinion, but I feel like you could layer it over some undies and it would look good. Another polish that I got two of was this Great Lakes Lacquer and I am not sorry about it. This one is called Love at Tinsley Park. Look at this, it is such a flaky bomb. I mean, look at all those flakies on the back here. Uh, it's this really pretty like purpley blue and just loaded with flakies. When I painted it on the swatch stick, it did not feel chunky or like overly thick. It felt like it went on pretty smooth. And I'm definitely giving uh, the other bottle of this to my friend. I think that she'll really appreciate it. And I am just falling more and more in love with this brand, every polish I see. So they're probably gonna take over my collection soon. I got two of these Kathleen and Co's. This one is called Cloud Gate. And it is like a really kind of icier blue and it is a reflective. I got quite a few reflectives in the bags. And you can see it's kind of that like grainier glitter style reflective. Probably not my go-to color, but I do like this brand. So I can't wait to swatch it on my hands and see, you know, what it really looks like. I got two of these KB shimmers and this is another reflective. This one is called It's Under the Sauce um which is uh another pizza reference and it's kind of this like rose goldy orangey color and it is i think i said it's a really reflective polish you can definitely tell and this is two coats it seems like it's got some pretty good coverage and that's another one i'll have to swatch out and kind of check out now both my bags had a psych minerals polish and I've never used this brand. This is like new to me. And they are both mysteries. So I don't know like what the polishes are. They just say mystery number 01 and mystery number 37. And here are the associated swatch sticks with both. And they both are just uh, pink that has like some kind of shimmer running through it. Nothing too crazy with these. I don't know if these are maybe like overpours or like potentially prototypes for something or if like there actually is a name to these polishes that I just don't know. I don't totally know how like nail polish mysteries work. I don't buy them because I don't know how they work. So if somebody wants to explain that, would love to know. Then I got one from Red Eyed Lacquer. Now this one is called Bean There. <laughs> which is of course a reference to the bean or cloud gate as some people might call it, but I refuse. Uh, and this is, I believe a reflective, yep, it says right on the top, um, it's blurry, but it does say reflective. I've never purchased from Red Eye Lacquer, although I do see their polishes, I believe on Polish Pickup, and I've been intrigued, I just haven't like made the leap, but this time I got one to try and you can see like there's a lot going on and it looks like it's got kind of like, I don't know if you can tell better against the black, but it looks like it has a little bit of blue running through it as well as that silver. So um, as much as I'm like, eh, I don't want to buy reflectives, it's nice to get a handful to just kind of play around with that I don't have to feel regret about maybe putting money into. And then the last of the duplicate polishes, the ones that were in both bags, this is Sweet and Sour Lacquer's City Dreams. And it's not really in the shot. There we go, Hillary. So it's like a dusky kind of purple. 
and it's hollow. I don't know if you can really tell from my lighting, but it is a like linear hollow, I believe. Yeah, probably. Um, and I have, I think I have one polish from Sweet and Sour Lacquer from before that I got in a mystery box D stash. So it's cool to get to try more. And I did stop by their booth. So I have a few more later on. This is Alchemy Lacquers. And this is a obviously reflective polish, I'm pretty sure. This isn't even cursive, but what the heck is that? Is that an and? Does it say Jake and Elwood? Someone please tell me. But yeah, it's um, kind of like a gun y and I'm assuming it's reflective. I haven't flashed a light on it, but it sure looks like it. And this one says it's Polished Beauty Expo 2022 VIP exclusive. I think a lot of these in the bags are exclusive, so that's pretty cool. Atomic Polish. This one's called Chicago Loop, and this is like a plummy berry. No, not plummy berry. It's just berry. It's like a berry hollow and I think it's got like scattered hollow in there. I don't think I've had any from Atomic Polish before. I'm pretty sure this is my first one. Yeah, you can see that scattered hollow in there. Okay, I was very excited to get this. This is a Bluebird lacquer. I only have one Bluebird that I bought from a polish pickup, so I was excited to try more. I love their precious little logo. Uh, this one is called Have a Field Day. And it's like a super flaky, you could see this pocket of flakies right here. Silver with like a ton of kind of rainbowy flakies. We got one from Crystal Knockout and this is called Park Life. And it's like a kind of a, almost like a sidewalk grayish color with some flakies running through it. Really, and like some gold, looks like some gold shimmer or gold flakies that are flashing back at you. Got this very fun poppy color from Danny Viana. This one's called Love Sunset. You may notice that the cap is a different color. I believe that's just for this show. I think they're not staying with that cap color. Um, but it is a purple, like tiny glitter with a ton of kind of orangey, yellowy, green flakies running through it. Very, very pretty. Probably one of the brighter ones that we got in the VIP bag. Different Dimension had Lake Hair Don't Care and I'm so sad. They had to drop out at like the last possible minute. I'm not sure why. I hope that the maker is okay, but I'm glad that we got to at least get one polish from her. And you can see it's quite, quite reflective, even under just my normal lights. And it is kind of a like tealy blue with like a, a purpley shimmer and then all that silver uh, reflective glitter there. Girly Bits gave us kind of a lakey blue hollow called Hell or High Water. I don't have a ton of hollow, so it kind of expands my hollow collection. And I don't think I have many or maybe any Girly Bits, so I'll try to blast through these. I'm being too chatty. This is Linby Designs. <laughs> this is called Bean There, Done That. This is a silver. I believe it is a reflective as well. I feel like there's so many reflectives and it's got flakies. So this one will really pack a punch. We have Mojo X Cosmetics and this one is called Hypnotize. I don't know anything about this brand. I believe that they have been in some polished pickups. This is pretty fairly like royal purple. It looks like it's got some kind of hollow glitter in there, but it's hard to tell. This one is called Shy Town, and it is from Poetry Cowgirl. I'm not so sure how I feel about this yet. As you can see, it is very sheer. It's that kind of tone of purple that I'm not super into, but I'm wondering how this will look over black, and you can kind of see it's got that like oil slick look to it. So I think that if I put this over a black base, it will be pretty cool. I think this is my very first Rogue lacquer. This one's called Razzle Dazzle. And it's like a purpley blue and it has a ton of different flakies in there. They're fairly small. Some kind of orangey copper ones as well as some other stuff going on in there. It's very fun. I'm excited to try that. This is Saki Cosmetics. Now they also had to drop out kind of at the last minute due to like a passport issue because I believe they're in Canada. 
Their label is like a little bit matte, like their label sticker. Oh, and this is called Quebec, if anybody was wondering. This is a jelly flaky. And then we got this thermal from Sassy Sauce, and this is called the Magnificent Mile. And this, the color flip kind of reminds me of Existential Crisis a little bit from Hollow Taco. I haven't checked the color switch. Give me one second. I went and ran it under some warm water and it just kind of clears up and it's already starting to go back, I think. But that's a really cool polish. I'll have to wear that before the thermal dies. <laughs> and then we got one from Swamp Gloss. It's called I've Had a God Hit My Brain. And it is like a probably best worn over a black base. I don't understand the reference. Uh, if somebody could explain that to me. Uh, and then we have a Vanessa Molina, and this one is called Fairy Wings. Her label takes up the whole front. It's um, kind of like a, yeah, with that black background, you can kind of see, it's like a bluey gray, I guess, and it's very glittery and a lot of rainbowy flakies. So that one is cool. I have one by Vanessa Molina, and I think it's it's a little treat to the witch. Actually, I think I have two, but that's the one I remember, and that's magnetic. But yeah, it's almost like a really light purple or a really, really pale light blue and the last thing from my bags is a zombie claw this is a kind of chunkier red berry glitter and it's called zombies infecting chicago so that is fun i love zombie claw i love their label i love their boxes and stuff so very cute okay so this is everything i purchased in the actual expo so I'm going to go in alphabetical order by brand. And the first brand in that list is Alchemy Lacquers. And this one is called Spectacular. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a teal flaky with some black flakes and some other various blue flakes. And I also got this really cool thing. Like I saw this on the table and I was instantly like intrigued. It's this little stand. I'm sure these probably exist and I'm just out of the loop, but it's this little stand and you can put your magnet on there and you can paint your magnetic and put your finger under there and you don't have to sit there and hold the magnet. So if I am like loving this, I'm just going to buy enough for like a whole hand and that's how I'm going to do magnetic manicures from here on out because that's like a gosh darn genius thing. And since I hadn't gotten anything else from Aurora, I decided to run over to their table. I'm pretty sure they were the brand that had like a big Ferris wheel on their table. This is called You Need to Yellow Out. And it is just a yellow hollow, nothing too crazy. But we went over there and my boyfriend really liked this polish. And I like to pick polishes that he likes too. So I grabbed this. Now, Bluebird was one of my first stops. This is called Breakfast at Tiffany's Dome. I believe this was exclusive to the convention and I did not want to miss it. It's just such an interesting polish. Um, it, I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of like metallic-y looking. It's got a lot of flakies, those blue and purple flips. And I almost threw up when I got to the table because literally Just Face 90 was standing there and I thought, I was gonna like embarrass myself but she was so cool and she stood and talked to me for a couple minutes and gave me a hug and stuff I was really excited to meet her and this isn't polished but since we're going in alphabetical order I stopped at the bygone apothecary table which smelled so good by the way and I picked up some mini shower bombs I think I talked to you guys I got these from a polished pickup once um, but there is the scents Susan B Anthony Boudica uh is it Kirihawa and Marie Antoinette and my boyfriend was like why are all of their things named after dead women and I was like I don't know man and then uh Danny Viana was one of the ones I knew that I had to hit up because they had their artist series this is Klimt uh this is based off of that one painting is it called the kiss I don't know but the colors are completely evocative of that painting it is like a goldy yellow with gold flakes, red flakes, green flakes all running through it. Some black in there as well. Absolutely beautiful. They had a ton of other painters as well. And I thought about picking up a couple more, but this was like my must have. So I had to get this one. They had posted this one called Moonstone on the Facebook page. And it is like a 
really, really light, almost white gray with a blue shimmer running through it. And I love that for me. So I picked that up. That was kind of like a last minute decision. And then this one, Lavender Dreams. This is their door buster. Some brands had door busters and they were like five bucks. Can't beat that. And I love this because it's got stars and uh, like moons running through it. And the color is that really kind of lavender-y purple that your milk turns when you're eating Lucky Charms. And this just reminded me of Lucky Charms cereal milk, so I had to have it. Next in the alphabet is DRK Nails. And this is not going to show up on camera at all the way I want it to. This is the most vibrant pink jelly flaky and I saw this at the meet and greet I didn't know about this and I saw it at the meet and greet and I was like that's going on the list and so I picked this up and then I got talked into this kit here so I got a exclusive DIY nail artisan kit because I want to start doing like maybe a stream here and there maybe just once a month twice a month with you guys and I thought this would be fun to stream and then my friend Bookish Boricua and her friend who came with her who I have now co-opted as my friend they ended up picking up this seal glaze for me um, and it says that it's created to help with difficult polishes it says especially purple ones and it like creates a film over the polish. I think it's like a water-based uh, top coat. So this is really cool. I'm going to try this out and I really appreciate that they grabbed that for me. Fair Maiden also had a door buster for five bucks. This is called Deep Dish and it's a uh, flaky with some hollow glitter in there. I think you could probably build it up if you add another coat or you could use it as a topper. And this was one of two things that I wanted from Fair Maiden. They were also selling this kit of six of their like pastel neons, had a water marbling cup and like a tool. And it was for $40, it was such a good deal. And I got up to the booth and I was like, no, I, I better not, Hillary, don't do it. You, And I just passed. And then three hours later, I was like telling my boyfriend about it. And he's like, well, why are you trying to convince me about it? So go back and buy it. And I went and it, of course it was sold out, but they were taking pre-orders. So I did pre-order that. And once I get that, I figure we can do a water marbling stream as well. A little bit later in the day, I stopped by Girly Bits Cosmetics and I mostly, I really had wanted to see their, um, they were going to carry some of the Cleonid cosmetic stuff, including the nail polishes. But by the time I got there, they were sold out. However, I knew I could just get those online. So I wasn't really been out of shape about it. Um, but this one on the left, I ended up picking up called Fiddle Me This and Seize Every Opportunity. And these are from the Honky Tonk Blues collection. And they're kind of like a sheerer, bright, metallic-y or shimmery base with these like bigger contrasting glitters in them. And I just thought they were really cute. I think somewhere around 12, 30 or so, I ended up getting in line for Great Lakes Lacquer because they had a line the entire time I was there, which I didn't expect because I don't see their name in like a lot of the videos that I watch on YouTube. And that could just be like confirmation bias. I don't know, but like I didn't expect their line to be nonstop. And since general admission was coming in at one, it was only going to get worse. And so I decided to stand in the line. It took like 30 minutes. That's the only line that really took very long for me. But I ended up picking up this Leaves in the Lake Shimmer version, which is just a really pretty darker blue or like kind of like blurple, like an indigo with like a pinky shimmer running through it. And that one is so nice. And then I had to have, because they were coming out with an Animal Crossing 2.0, they said. So I think they already had an Animal Crossing collection uh, in the past. But I had to pick up a few from that collection because it was debuting there, I believe. And so we got The Sun Will Rise and Warm You Today. And it is this like bluey green shimmery polish. And then we got Who... Who, and that is, oh, well, this one's based on Cap'n from Animal Crossing, if you know. And this one's based on Blathers. And it is like this rusty brown with that green shimmer running through it. I love that. 
And then the last one is based off of Brewster, and it is called You Want Pigeon Milk in That, which if you don't play Animal Crossing, that probably sounds gross. And even if you do, it probably sounds gross. And it's this really light bluey gray with a orangey, fiery shimmer running through it. And I debated getting the whole collection, but these were the three that really stuck out to me. And I am so glad I picked them up because, man, that line just never ended. It was crazy. I went to Jen and Berries, and this is a brand that this is like a first time trying. I've heard of them. I've seen people's like reviews pop up, but I've just never uh, like looked into them. Not for really any particular reason. It's just, man, sometimes you have so many polishes on your brain. But I got this sticker, and then I got a few polishes. So the first one is called Peer Pressure, and it is like a teal... Uh, linear hollow with these black shards running through it. This was part of a duo and the other piece to it is a zombie claw. It's called purple glass. This is not for me though. This is for somebody else and I am not going to swatch it because it's a gift. Like I'm not going to do that girl. I'm so sorry. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to just buy this. I didn't realize it was part of a duo and so I grabbed this for my friend because she wanted some unusual purples and I was like I don't think she has any zombie claw and then the maker was like uh this is actually a duo you have to buy them together and I was like kind of like embarrassed <laughs> that I didn't realize it I was like okay that's fine and I ended up liking this blue a lot and I had not like realized Jen and Berries was right next door so I was like all right I'll try that out and then later in the day, I did end up going back to the Jen and Barry's booth just to check it out. And you know what I found out? They have um, Star Trek themed polishes, which shouldn't be allowed. That's a weakness for me. So I picked up two. These are the Star Trek Villains collection. And this one here is called Resistance Was Futile. It doesn't have a label on it. She said that she just forgot to put labels on it. And she actually asked me for my address and was like, I'm going to send you a label for it. And I was like, you really don't have to. And she goes, no, no, I'm going to do that. And I was like, okay, sick. So it's just like a kind of, I think that if the light catches it right, it's got kind of a duo chromy flip or like a shimmer. Really pretty. And then we have Q no who. Now I'm sure you guys were shocked to see me lay that red down. I don't know. I, I was drunk with excitement. Um, but it's like a jelly red. I love the name Q no who. I mean, Q is great. Um, if you watch Star Trek Next Generation, you probably love Q. And it's got flakies running through it. And I just saw this and immediately my brain was like, I have to wear this mat. I, like there's no choice. I have to wear this mat. So I picked that up as well. We stopped by Kathleen and & Co. And I mean, you guys already know why I bought this. It's like one of those funky greens. It's called Predator. And as I picked it up, my boyfriend was like, hmm, you really like those kind of greens, huh? And I'm like, you don't got to be passive aggressive at me because every time I picked up like a kind of swampy green, he'd be like, huh, you're really drawn to those, aren't you? So I actually ended up only getting a couple of these swampy greens and I tried to like branch out to some other stuff. But I think that this, oh, I tried to look it up. I think it was a polish pickup polish. I didn't know that. I just immediately was drawn to it. And so very Shrek-y, you know, very swampy. KB Shimmer had some magnets. So I grabbed one of those and I picked up this one called flip out. I think this is from a newer collection. It's a little bit washed out in the camera, but it looks like the similar color to Flip Flop Fantasy, except it has a goldeny green shimmer running through it. And I was immediately drawn to this color. These like crazy pinks always suck me in. I don't know if it's like an homage to Flip Flop Fantasy. I feel like it is because of the name and the color, but I don't know. Somebody let me know. But yeah, that they had a pretty good line too, but they had two lines going, so it wasn't like you had to wait very long. We went over to Poetry Cowgirl, and here on the right-hand side, that's called Pride Party, and it's kind of like a glittery topper, but I think if you built it up, you could wear it on your own, and it wouldn't really, it would detract from your visible nail line, um, but it's got like silver scattered glitter running through it, as well as like a ton of 
like confetti shards of different colors. And actually, I was going to buy the new Cirque birthday topper. But after I swatched this out, I was like, it's close enough that I don't think I need that. And then this, here, let me turn the bottle on its side so you can kind of see the actual colors in motion. And then this one is called Deuce Coop. I think, don't don't at me. Um, and it looks like a plain yellow cream in the bottle. And I don't know how well it will pick up on this swatch stick, but it is kind of like this metallic-y shimmer. This is from their Hot Rod collection that's about to come out. They had like a red, a blue, a yellow, a matte black, and a white. And they all look like the finish of like a car. And that's what this looks like in real life. And I wanted to try one because they looked so pretty. And my boyfriend picked out the yellow one for me because he's drawn to yellows and I don't have enough yellow, so I was happy with that. We stopped by the Psych Minerals table and this is just a prototype that I picked up. It was like five bucks. I just love this color. I love a lighter color with a shimmer running through it. And I talked to the maker for a little bit and um, I just asked her, you know, how many prototypes does it take before you get the color you want? And she was talking to me about the process. So that was really cool to hear. Uh, but I love this color. I can't believe it didn't make it, you know. And I stopped at Red Eye Lacquer and uh, yeah, I picked up a gross green. This one's called Never Sleep Again and it's based off of Freddy Krueger. And you can see like these are his sweater colors, his like that mossy green with the red perfect beautiful love it i have actually never seen a freddy krueger movie um but that sweater is iconic and this color is everything so then we ran over to the ribbit stickets uh table and somebody was going through the book and i felt really overwhelmed because they had so many water decals so i didn't end up really looking through them but i did end up picking up one of their room sprays because i don't like when a room smells weird. i have like like I'm just always nervous that like my house smells weird um because we eat like a lot of kimchi and I'm used to the smell of kimchi because it's like I live in it but people will come over and they instantly are like what is that smell and I'm like it's my fridge I'm sorry kimchi smells very strongly so before people come over I like to like douse my home in room spray so that it smells like um fruit and kimchi I guess <laughs> but I picked up this one I had my boyfriend pick it out he likes to smell things so he picked up the scent tr uh, tropical escape and I love this frog so much uh, it's just so precious you can suck me in with a good logo I swear um but I was telling the owner of the stand or the shop, I was like, oh my God, I love this little frog. He's so precious. And she was like, I drew him myself and they had pins. And so I had to buy this adorable pin. So this is what I got from Rivet Stickets. And then I went to Sassy Sauce. And you know what? I've never purchased anything from Sassy Sauce. They gave me two stickers because they're just so nice. And, um... I had a list for Sassy Sauce and they let me cut. They were like, does anybody have a list? And I was like, I do. And they're like, are you going to browse? And I said, well, I've got my list, so I know what I want. And they said, all right, cut the line. Tell us what you want. So I got to cut the line because their line was quite long and I felt very special for that. I had to have this. Oh my gosh, it's not even reading on camera. It is the brightest pink. Let me see if I can adjust yeah, there's no way this is going to pick up. This is just like eye searing pink. Hot girl summer. I um I had a list of five or sorry, of four and I told them what I wanted and then I saw this and I was like, and ah, oh, that pink one. Like I had to have it. And this is I think the only plain cream that I bought, but I don't feel bad about it. I cannot wait. This is going to be a toe color for sure. And then on my list, I had Spillin' Tea. This is such an unusual looking, this is another one of those um, really hard to describe polishes. Lots of colored flakies in there. It's definitely purple, but it's got that green flip to it. The flakies are kind of switching from green to blue to purple. And so that went on my list, like once I saw it on the Facebook group. Similar in tone, uh, but not quite actually. So this is Shaken Not Stirred. And if you put spilling tea next to it, they're different. They're different. And this kind of reminds me of that Cirque finish that I really like, where it's like, it's got shimmer and hollow glitter running through it. So I was really drawn to this. This was one that got added to my list at the meet and greet, and it's called RAR. And it's got 
like this bright orange with a orangey shimmer and then these red speckles running through it. My boyfriend saw it at the uh, meet and greet and he goes, that looks like French dressing. I love it. And I was like, shut up. The maker is right there. He Everything he saw, he was like, that looks like hot sauce. That looks like this condiment. And I'm like, bro, you and I can say that, but I don't want the makers to hear you and take that the wrong way, even though he loves that they look like sauces because he's a sauce boy. Um, but everybody seemed to be fine with it. I was just like, dude, somebody's going to get mad. This one is the, one of the other creepy greens I got. It's not too creepy. It looks a little bit creepier in the bottle. It's called Kiss My Grass. And it is a green, like a limey green with a orangey flip to it and more of that glitter running through it. I think that maybe these are the same finish or pretty similar. And then because I bought so much, um, I guess when you hit a certain dollar threshold, they let you pick a mystery polish. So I grabbed like a little grab bag. This one's called Spin Me Right Round. And it's kind of, <laughs> kind of close, but not mad at it. It's got like, like a purple base, but the glitters in it look like they're teal. So that's pretty cool. I wonder what these will look like actually swatched on the hand. We're in the home stretch. I talk too much okay so i stopped actually the first one that i went to was swamp gloss and i grabbed the wrong polish <laughs> i because their boxes don't have little peekaboos and i grabbed the polish that was in front of the display that of the polish that i liked and i didn't look at the name because i was like over excited um so this one's called You Flicked Too Hard, and it is like a purpley base with blue glitters. The one I wanted, I'm pretty sure had like a blue base, but I don't care because this is still pretty. And the first 25 customers who went to Swamp Gloss, which is why I was like in a rush, they got like a free cup. And it's like those like Starbucks cups that are like super ridgy. And I have an iced coffee maker at home and I don't have more than one cup. I only have one. And so I was like, I kind of want this. And they, they had four different colorways. You got a random one, but this is the one I wanted. And it honestly feels like you could really hurt somebody with this cup. It's pretty cool. I'm glad I got that. Sweet and Sour Lacquer had some that were on my list and I had to have a sticker. I think this is one of the stickers I paid for. They weren't just giving these out, but it's super hollow. And I wanted... They're like, I think you could build these up or use them as toppers. So these are their, it's the Mythical Creatures collection from this month, actually. I got one called Harpy. I think there were only four in the collection. Or maybe there were five, but I only picked up three. So we got Harpy. And that one is kind of a more purpley, flaky with some golds and greens running through it. And then I got Kelpie, which like beautiful blue. You can see that there. It reminded me of Wildflower Lacquer Stolen Flame, like that kind of tone. And the, the flakies go kind of purpley. And then the, another passive aggressive remark from my boyfriend when I picked this one up. And this is Quetzalcoatl. And this is like one of those kind of greeny red flips. I was like, I'm not even going to put this one back because this was on my list, so shut your mouth. I stopped at uh, its polish pack, and then their brand is called Voyage, I think is how it works. I don't, yeah, it says it's from polish pack. So at the, I, I wasn't actually initially planning to buy from this brand because I follow them on Instagram, and it seemed like I, I was under the impression that really all they did was thermals. Um, this is another one that's not going to pick up on camera. It's called Uyuni, and it is this really vibrant orangey red, and it's textured, like, it's got, like, the sugar texture, kind of like Zoya does something similar. It's not quite a pixie dust, but it feels really cool, and this is, I, I saw their table at the meet and greet, and I was sucked in by this specific polish, and then my friend had said, you know, pick me up a couple cool purples. I don't have many purples, and I picked out the zombie claw one and my boyfriend ended up picking out this one called Bogota for her and it is like it looks kind of like a uh, indigo but it's that same like sugar texture I'm not sure if she's gonna like it I hope she does because I thought these were really fun 
And then they also sell these, I think they're hand sewn or like, you know, they use a machine, but like they make them themselves. These little like, I don't know what you even call it. I mean, I think it's just called like the polish pack, but they have these snaps that you can snap it closed. But what you do is you open this up and I got the pizza pattern. They had a ton of different patterns and this is just like a nice felt and you can take your polishes and put them in there and like they have some that have like different sized uh pockets but then you can just fold this back in or roll it up or however and snap it closed and travel with this in your bag in your luggage whatever and it keeps them from like you can see these are right next to each other but you can't hear any glass hit because they're separated by the cloth and you know, I even just going to a friend's house or something like that and bringing some polishes so you guys can do your nails together. I thought this was such a great idea. I got the, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. I guess it holds 14 polishes. Maybe it's only supposed to hold 12. I can't remember. But they had a few different sizes. This is like the middle size. They had some that were smaller and kind of like more like an envelope. And then they had like a huge one. I wanted the middle size because I mean, I'm never going to carry that much with me. But it was nice to have the extra space just in case. And I don't know, just the pizza one. Like even when I uh, pulled it out, my boyfriend was like, oh, you have to get the pizza one. So now I just want pizza. And then last but not least is Zombie Claw. I told you guys earlier I stopped by their booth and I bought like that duo um that was early on I was really overwhelmed when I first went in just because I didn't know what to expect and I get a little panicky when I don't have like a perfect plan and so when I went there I didn't look too hard I just picked up that one for my friend and then I kind of dipped out and so when things started to die down I went back and how embarrassing um the lady remembered me and she goes oh back again and I was like oh I want to die um I don't know why that was so embarrassing just existing is a little bit embarrassing for me um but I picked up the, the one from my list that I wanted called scary s'mores and it is it's a purple that has like some black and white like speckly things running through it it's got a jelly base and then it has a little s'more on the bottom and I love s'mores they're my favorite I love s'more flavored anything um there was another one that I wanted that they were sold out of unfortunately however she let me pre-order it for the the price of the show because I think they have like special show pricing or something for some of these. And um, that one was called Fireflies at Midnight. And it was kind of a like turquoisey blue with like the similar stuff running through it. And I should have just not been a huge dork and just like taken a deep breath and um, bought it when I was there. But you know, I got on pre-order, that's fine. But man, I was just so anxious. And you know what? It's so funny that there was no reason to be. It was such a wonderful experience for me. I had so much fun. Thank you to everybody who came up to me and said hello. I'm so sorry that I was so sweaty. I was just really nervous. Every time people came up to me, I was like, oh my God, I feel like a celebrity. It was really weird. It was surreal. But I had such a blast and I met a lot, a lot of cool people. I bought so, so many cool polishes. And I'm hoping to go to other of these types of events if I can. Um, I know Polish and Dreams already happened. That one I think is put on by rogue lacquer and that happened in las vegas and i go to vegas a ton so i'm hoping next year it's in vegas again or or somewhere cool so that i can go to that one my boyfriend had a really surprisingly good time as well uh even though he thinks that all nail polish apparently looks like sauces so you know and also just shout out to everybody who like went and they they put all that effort in there was a lot of volunteers um, I just had such an amazing time and it was absolutely needed. So thank you guys so much for sticking around. I'm sorry that this haul is probably insanely long. I don't even know how many polishes I ended up with. More than 60, it has to be. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it from me. Uh, sorry, the vlog footage itself was a little bit lackluster. Like I said, I was a little bit flustered, but yeah, next time it'll be better. I promise. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.